Hey everyone, it's Andrea Vasquez, your Presidential Diamond Leader. I want to do a video and just kind of talk about just all sorts of things, just kind of go over certain tips. Um, so many of you have asked me a certain thing, so I just want to kind of put it in a video, and um, I just hope this video helps. It's just kind of random. I have the notes on my phone, and I'm just going to kind of go over a lot of different areas and just kind of share my thoughts and my tips with you. Um, the first one I have written down is posting. Um, when you're posting on social media and Facebook, Facebook and Instagram, let's say, um, when I was new, I have time hop, and I, I see time hop of a year ago, and I look at the post like, why would I post that? But it's kind of cool to see how far I've come and how I've changed the way I um, post on social media. And back then I would post, it's $99, join my team, or buy this, it's, you know, it's 99 retail, buy this, buy, join. And it was just all about that. There was no feeling in that post. There was no, um, nothing. It was just seriously $99, join my team, it'll change your life. Things like that. So one thing I can highly recommend is buying the social media adventure. It's $99 and you get, I believe it's 100 videos, and I bought it back in January and it's awesome. Um, Eric, John Eric is a social media guru. He he talks about pulling people into an adventure, not being a salesperson. So instead of um, join, buy, do this, join this, buy this, do this, he's pulling people on an adventure. And your adventure doesn't have to be going and traveling all over the world. Your adventure can be going to the park with your kids. Or your adventure for the day can be grocery shopping. Um, your adventure for the day can be anything. So you are pulling people on an adventure with you, meaning lifestyle post. Um, kind of like when you go to the park, I, oh, I love that I can go to the park and watch my kids and work from home or work from my cell phone. Things like that that people are going to be like, well, I want to do that. Like, or here's my office view for the day and it's an office of the beach or the view of the beach or the view of the park with your kids playing or the view of your living room, whatever it is. You're pu you want to pull people in on an adventure, so if you can pay the $99 to invest in your business, if you really, really want to grow your business and learn the right ways, the do's and don'ts of posting on social media, I highly recommend that you buy that. It's $99, and the videos are there all the time. The videos are only six to seven minutes long a day, and they are great tips, um, just amazing tips. So um, I wrote, how you make people feel. So when you make a post, I kind of just want to ask you, when you're reading a post and it's like, $99, buy, um, join my team, it'll change your life. What do you feel? You're just like, okay, cool, and you kind of scroll past it, right? But when you do like a video and you share a story, like a before and after picture, and you share, oh my gosh, this mom was so skeptical, she lost some confidence when she had her kids, and now look at her, she looks amazing, her confidence gained, or came back. And just share a story, because if you can make people feel like, Oh, I just had kids like I want to feel like that then they're more likely to be interested in the product rather than I'll buy them their $99 retail 59 low customer so I kind of hope this is making sense and um, it's how you make people feel in posts that they want to um, they become more interested if you share your story why you joined or how you couldn't um, afford to pay your phone bill and now it works as paying your phone bill or how you couldn't afford um, just groceries you were on a strict budget maybe it was like $100 a month and now you don't even have to worry about that that kind of the thought anymore. You can just go to the grocery store and buy what you want. It's how you make people feel in the post. Again, if you do, it's ninety nine dollars. It could change your life. Honestly, I would scroll right past that. I would. It's I really would. Um, when when I joined, I joined because my friend posted a before and after picture, and I there was a caption. I don't remember what she said. She was so excited, whatever. But I saw that and I want. I want that for my stomach. Like I want those results. So it's how you make people feel, not what you say. It's not about the facts that you can prove about it works. It's how it makes you feel. Or people want to know what it's doing for you. If you never share with what it works is doing for you or why you joined, people aren't going to know. So if you share, oh my gosh, since I've joined, I have gained so many friendships. I've um, came out of my shell more. I've become a better person. Um, so this kind of goes into um, you are new and not making any money. Um, it's okay. You don't have to be posting. You're making $500 a month, six and You don't have to lie about it. You don't have to. The thing I want you to do, if you are brand new and you're scared to post about the income or anything like that, just post things like maybe the picture of something, diamond, your dream board, something on your dream and say, I cannot wait. Um, in a few short months, I will be making this much money from home that I can do things like this. Or, oh my gosh, I'm shooting for Ruby. I'm going, I cannot wait to be making $500 extra a month. Um, it will do so wonders for my family. Things like that. Don't lie and say you're making all this money when you're not. Um, People buy you. They don't buy the products. They don't buy the business opportunity. They buy you. And when they see what Eric's is doing for you, 
it's going to completely, they're going to look at it a whole different way. So like me personally, I will never post, I will say on average, okay, I'm presidential diamond. They make on average this, but I will never be like, I'm making this much money a month. Um, you should join my team because you could do, be doing that. People cannot soak in that kind of money. You cannot, you can't, I still can't. I kind of make that much money and I still can't believe it. So you always want to help people say, okay, if you can make an extra five to a thousand dollars extra a month, when you're talking about that, don't ever, like if you're making 10, 15, 8, 6,000, whatever it is, don't say that because people can't comprehend that. Um, if I say in one year I um, replace my full-time income with Costco, great. People can like think, okay, and everyone's full-time income is completely different. So if they just think, oh my gosh, if she can do it, why can't I? But if I'm over here like, oh, I make 16,000 a month on average, you know, uh, yeah, people can't comprehend that. It's just, they can't do it. And it's normal, you know, people don't make that kind of money. Um, let's see, not everyone will go, okay, let me read this, sorry. I read this yesterday, and I believe it was in the tips from Ashley Olive. Um, somebody from Dash, it says, not everyone will go the extra mile, that's why there's only so many seats in first class. I love that, because... So many people fail this business before something amazing is about to happen. So many people quit way too early and they'll quit a month in, two months in, three months in because they're not making 10 grand a month. Um, I'm here to tell you it's not a get rich quick scheme. Um, a lot of people will say, well, I don't want to join a get rich quick scheme and then they join and they don't get rich quick. So they think it's a scheme. So I love that because not everyone's going to go that extra mile. Not everyone is going to go that far or push that far. So when you get up there, when you get to go to the extra mile, it's less crowded. Look at first class in any airplane. There's maybe 15, 20 seats, and then the rest of the plane is all others. So just look at it that way. Not everyone's going to go the extra mile. When you're having a down day, when you're having, you're in a funk or you're in a rut, whatever it is, go the extra mile. Just know that good things are about to happen. Um, let's see. Selling wraps. So what I want to tell you is ask everyone. Um, don't... Just post, I have wraps on hand, or I, these are amazing before and afters and think the world's going to come to you. It's not, it doesn't work that way. You need to get out there and you need to ask everybody. So um, get out your phone, text 20 people. Have you tried that crazy wrap thing? That's it. Let them respond yes or no. If they say yes, oh my gosh, how'd you love it? I just tried one. I fell in love with them. Just kind of conversation. Then if they say no, say, I would actually love to come and wrap you. I can even give you $5 off if you set up an appointment this week. Things like that. Um, there was a story I read, I think they were doing some kind of competition, going to conference, or I can't remember what it was, but this girl wrapped 51 people in like less than a month, less than a month, and everyone was asking, how'd you do it, how'd you do it, and she goes, honestly, I just asked, I just asked people, we are so scared to ask people, because we're so scared of hearing the no, but go out there and get as many no's as you can, because you're going to get closer to yeses, and think about it, if you ask 50 people and five say yes, that's 125 bucks and five people right there, so... Don't think that everyone is going to say yes that you asked to wrap, but my biggest tip for you is just ask. Ask everyone that you know if you can come and wrap them and get their own testimonials or if they're um, willing to throw a wrap party so you can wrap their friends. Just ask is my biggest tip. Um, how to stay po positive when you see their te other teams growing and yours isn't. So this kind of goes into the sowing and the reaping season. My biggest tip is never compare yourself to anybody else. Um, your journey is your journey. Things happen for you in, in a way that it's meant to be for your life. Um, again, your journey is your journey. So I will admit, I compare myself sometimes, but there was one, um, she, you know, I'm going to use her name, Ashley Olive. She came in and she did amazing and I sat back like, okay, I've been in like a year and a half what is she doing? What like, and I was kind of like, what the heck's going on? Like, how is she doing this? And how have I not? But then I had to shift my thinking. I had to shift. Okay, whatever she's doing, I'm not going to sit and pout about it. I'm going to use whatever she's doing and actually go do that with my business because if she can do it, why can't I? So you have to understand too, everyone's lives are so different. Um, people may have had a market before they joined this where others didn't. I didn't have a market. Some people, like Ashley Sinclair says, she owned a boutique. She had a market of people. She had tons of people she knew. Other people joined and don't know anybody. So you can never compare yourself to anybody because everyone's lives are completely different. Um, maybe that person is going and talking to 100 people a day where you're talking to five. Maybe that person's blitzing 30 people a day and you're not blitzing at all. Maybe that person is throwing rap parties every single night and you're not even throwing one a month. So you never know what that person is doing to grow their business. So you can never compare um, it kind of goes into sowing and reaping season as well. 
And you have to understand that there's a sowing and a reaping season and they are not in the same seasons. So if you're looking at, let's say you're looking at Mary. Mary's signing so many law customers and so many distributors and she's just doing amazing. Her team's going crazy. But we can't compare ourselves to her because maybe all those people that are signing, she had been talking to from a month to three months to six months to maybe even a year. So all of them had been seeds she planted in the past. Now she's just falling back with every single one of them and this is a perfect time for them all. So they're joining. Then we're looking at Sam over here who's not really signing much, but she's throwing parties like crazy. She's blitzing. She's posting. She's messaging people. She's going crazy and planting a million seeds, but nothing's happening. Well, it's because she's planting all these fresh seeds. Um, just so you know, when you reach out to somebody, they're not going to join that second. Um, two, a lot of people will say, um, I'm interested in trying the wraps or I'm interested in this. I'm interested in joining, but that doesn't mean they're going to sign right that second. Um, I've had people where I've mentioned or talked to and they're interested in joining. Well, they don't join for two years. So seriously, I've been in two and a half years and I've had people joining me now that I've asked when I very first started. So you never know. And there's a sowing and a reaping season and they are not in the same season. So no, never compare yourself. Maybe just reach out and say, Hey, how are you doing this? It's awesome. Can you just share a tip with me? That's it. And again, there's nothing crazy, nothing special they're doing. They're just taking the action. They're taking all the tools. They're following up with their people and they're taking action to make it happen. So never compare yourself to anybody else. And I know it's hard because we do it all the time. Um, how to sign LCs and DTs. So biggest tip too is consistency. Um, post it on social media. If, you, if you're kind of looking for LCs, you're going to be posting a ton of before and afters. Um, if you're looking for DTs, you're going to be posting a bunch of lifestyle posts or wrap cash. Um, if you sell a wrap and, you know, 25 bucks and put it on hold the blitz card with the money and say, oh my gosh, I sold a wrap or um, parties are great to sign low customers and distributors. Um, this is a belly to belly business. So we have to get out there and we have to talk to people. Belly to belly meaning we have to physically wrap people. We have to get in front of new people. And um, social media is great. Don't you not get, don't get me wrong. I've built 95% of my business off of social media, but we have to, um, get out there and meet new people and network and get in. If you do a party, ask your friends and family to host a party because you're getting in front of new people that you normally would not have been in front of. Um, so signing LCs and DTs, you just have to get out there, ask, you have to get out there and follow up. If somebody says they're interested, write their name down on the tracker that's in the just wrap it files tab and write the day you um, reached out. Then in a week or two weeks, reach out again in a month, reach out two months. People, some might get bugged that we're following up with them, but at the same time, some are just, life's crazy, they have kids, they have jobs, they have just a crazy life, they might really want to sign up when they get home and something pops up and they forget. So, but just by following up, don't feel like you're annoying, just say, hey, um, I know we talked about hair, skin, and nails and you wanted to sign up, I could do it for you, that way you don't have to take time out of your day to do it. So, just get out there and ask people, uh, message people, post on social media every single day, before and afters, lifestyle posts, what it works is doing for you, kind of your why and why you joined. Um, again, parties are great for a lot of customers and distributors. Um, let's see, I had it. Okay, I, those two kind of combined, but I hope that an helped answer some about signing loyal customers and distributors. And again, it's the more the more people you talk to. So don't get caught up if that loyal customer says or potential loyal customer says, "I will sign up on Friday," and then they don't. Don't just get caught up in that one potential loyal customer for months. Because trust me, when I was new, I did it because you're waiting on that one loyal customer. Great. Put their name down. Say, I'll follow back up with them on this day and go out and find more people. Always, always be adding to your potential list. Always, always, always. Never hold back just because you have a distributor or a potential distributor or a potential loyal customer on the line that could possibly sign. Go out there, put them on their name, put the name down on the list and keep moving forward. Um, I just had something great to say. Okay. So the more you talk to, if you're posting once a day, twice a day, and you're not messaging people at all, ever asking them, your business won't grow as fast. Um, just because those posts don't be wrong, people get interested and they're watching, but they're not going to reach out to you. Um, so we have to reach out to people. Um, don't ever feel like, oh, she's going to hate me and feel like almost I'm, I'm doing a disservice by not sharing these amazing products in this business with people. So if you're showing, there's a quote, um, I can't remember exactly how it goes, but it's like, I showed 900 people my opportunity, 100 were still, 100 were interested, 75 said they were going to come to my party, 50 came, um, 20 sh signed up and 7 are still with me and it's been 5 years or something, it's kind of like that. But you have to know that you have to talk to so many people. If the ratio is you talk to 10 people and you get one interested, 
Cool. That means you gotta take, talk to 20 to get two interested or 30 to get three interested. So you have to talk to as many people as you can to actually get a high number actually signing and joining. Um, if you ever follow any top leaders, they message like hundreds of people a day. They follow hundreds of people. They add hundreds of people. They blitz everywhere they go. They talk to everybody they can and that's why they are where they are. So the difference between the people at the top of the company, company and you is they have filled out the steps of success more times than you have. That's it. That is the only difference. So if you want to start filling steps of success out more, start talking to just tons and tons of people and don't feel like, oh, what are they going to think? You just have to take that off the plate and just start messaging them because some people will never come to you if they're interested. I know it's weird, but they won't. If I've had a few people that say if I ne if somebody never came to me and asked me to join, I, I would have never reached out to somebody and asked about it. So always just do it and just it's look at it as you're not you're doing them a disservice by not sharing these amazing products and the business opportunity with everybody. Um, let's see, staying plugged in. So my biggest tip, and I had an aha moment last night. I was talking to Delise, and we were talking about events or something. Her Odom, I don't even know. And I had an aha moment, and I just thought. I look back all the time in my journey and I think, why, I never really got discouraged. I got discouraged. I was in little funks and I have ruts and I had that, but I, I took quitting off the table a long time ago, so I never, I never was quitting. I, I sat back and looked like, how did I not go into crazy funks all the time? And honestly, I had this aha moment that it was because I stayed plugged in. It was because I made, I made a um, goal in my head that I would get on every um, Sunday night co conference call, corporate call. Um, I would get to every meeting, training, Odin, party, wherever. If it was in four hours distance, I was there. Um, I say this all the time. You have to stay plugged in. You have to stay plugged in in the group pages. You have to get to meetings, trainings, because every single meeting and training I go to, yeah, they talk about the same things, but there's an aha moment at every single one. And then every time you leave a training, and I know it sucks, sometimes you're like, I don't want to go to this party. I don't want to go to the meeting. I don't want to leave my house. I don't want to get dressed. Trust me, I've been there. But once you get there and you leave, you're like, oh my God, like I'm so glad that I went because I learned this. And it could be one thing from that training that completely set a fire underneath you and change your business. So um, I went to my first autumn, that's what changed my business. Went to conference, so that's what completely changed my business. So I understand what events do and um, corporate calls do and trainings and meetings and whatever you can get to, get to them. And Nobody can make you get there. Um, I can sit there and tell you how amazing they are and how they changed my business and how they're going to change your business, but you have to physically get to them yourself to actually learn. Um, and I will tell you, by getting that to them, that will help you grow your business. And if you're kind of sitting back and you make excuses not to get to parties and not to get to every meeting or not to get to any trainings, that's on you and your business, and you're holding you and your business back. So staying plugged in is huge. you got to take all the excuses off the table. You have to think, oh, I, I don't want to get dressed tonight. Oh, well, just go in your pajamas. Just get to these events and go because they will change yourself and they will change your business. Um, so you got to take all the excuses off the table. Um, let's see. I saw this quote on Facebook today. Somebody posted it and it says, people begin to become successful the minute they decide to be. And I absolutely love this because when I was new, I would tell my upline, oh my gosh, I'm going Ruby this month. Didn't. Oh my gosh, I'm doing this. Nope, I really wasn't. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm doing great. Nope, really wasn't. I remember it was like September 2013, and I was like, I'm going to go diamond this month. Yes, I, yeah, I'm doing, I'm going diamond. But I wasn't doing the action. I told myself I was, but I wasn't putting in the work, and I wasn't taking the action to actually make it happen. <laughs> So um, when I went to conference and I had this aha moment and I thought, I'm going to go double diamond in two months. Remind you, I was being paid out executive. And I just thought, I have to do it. I'm doing it. I decided right then and there at conference, I will be double diamond March 31st. So I came home, did everything that I could, and I, my dog sits here and barks. I'm sorry. Um, I did everything I could and I hit double diamond. It's because I finally decided that I was going to be successful. I was going to do this. So you can sit there and say, oh my gosh, I'm doing this and tell your upline, I'm going to reach this goal. But deep down, you have to decide that you are going to be successful to this. You have to decide that you're taking all the excuses off the table and that it is going to work for you. So I'm going to read that quote again. People begin to become successful the minute they decide to be. The minute you decide to take all excuses off the table and no matter what's going to happen, you are going to make this work. 
amazing things happen. And every promotion, a promotion just doesn't, it does not just happen. I'm sorry. It, promotion does not happen. There is so much that goes into a promotion that you have to completely decide, okay, I'm ready. I'm going for it. Um, when I hit triple, let's say in March, I hit triple and I thought, okay, we're going presidential. That's my next goal. Presidential. Here we go. But I knew like, and in April, I, I said I was going and I was, I still work my business as hard, but I wasn't full in mode of going for presidential. Does that make sense? So I knew that was my goal and I knew that's where I was going. I was working every single day. I was posting, I was messaging people. I was doing everything that I normally do, but deep down inside, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready to go presidential. So the minute I decided, you know what, and it was in July, I think it was June, I was like, you know what, I'm going presidential in July. I'm, I'm doing it. So the second I decided I was doing it, amazing things start to happen. Everything almost starts to fall in place. And I went presidential in July. So the, um, you have to, I'm going to read it one more time. People begin to become successful the minute they decide to be. So you have to decide right now that you are going to be successful. You are going to do everything in your power to make that promotion happen. Because yes, your team is there to help you. But again, you have to be the leader and make sure everything goes the right way and everything comes to place. You have to lead from the front. You have to do your steps to success. You have to blitz. You have to wrap. You have to repeat it. You have to physically sign those loyal customers. You have to sign distributors. You can't just worry on your team. So promotion, there's so much work that goes on below it. But again, it has to come from you and you have to decide that you are ready. Um, your upline, I want this for everybody on my team. I do. But I can't want it for them. They have to actually want it and, okay, I'm doing this. I am doing this. Um, my upline was always there, always encouraging me to do go to the next rank. But I was like, oh, yay, I'm going. No, I really wasn't. So until I decided that I was going for the next promotion, it didn't happen until I decided. Um, stop. How to talk to people in public. Um, so I'm a very shy person. I really, really, really am. Um, I have a hard time blitzing just because I'm very shy and I don't know how to start the conversation. But something I learned at the Most Powerful Women in Network Marketing event in Vegas a couple weeks ago is one of the um, speakers said, okay, so go out and talk to people with no agenda. Um, I think what happens is we think in our head, oh my gosh, they know I'm talking about business. That's all my mind is spoken on is business. I'm going to screw this up. I don't know how to bring this up. Sorry, I had to pick up my dog because he keeps barking. But I think that's why it scares us the most is because we know it's all about the business and we're scared to bring it up. So something that they said, or the speaker said, is go out there with no agenda, meaning go out there and just start conversations with people. Oh my gosh, your shirt is so cute, or that purse is amazing, your hair is great, where do you go and get it done? Just start a conversation with no agenda of, oh my gosh, business, low customer distributor, don't even think about that. Just start... Um, just start talking to people, build relationships, um, have fun. Um, and then add them on Facebook. You know, we're having a great time. Add them on Facebook and don't mention the business at all. Sometimes blitzing, great. Yes, do that. Here, here's a coupon for you. Um, it's my business card, things like that. But sometimes just go out there with no agenda. And it's easier for me to do that because I am scared to blitz and I'm very super, super shy. So if I can just be myself and talk to them and build a relationship and then, hey, are you on Facebook? I can add you to Facebook. And then that way they can watch your post and watch um, all your, yeah, all your posts every single day. So kind of go out there with no agenda of, oh my gosh, I got to get her as a low customer distributor. And don't think that. Um, again, if you're blitzing, blitzing actually business side, say, you know, here's a coupon for you or anybody else that you know. Um, because I think sometimes if we hand them a blitz card, they're like, well, thanks. Like, you're telling me I need this. So if you say, here's a coupon or here's my business card with a coupon on it for you or anybody that you would know that would be interested interested, it kind of pulls it away from them. And then it thinks, oh, it's not just about me. She's saying if anybody I'm interested or I know is interested, the coupons for them too. So that's a great way to do it. But um, just do it. Just just go out there with no agenda, meet new people, build relationships, have fun, add them to Facebook, and then see what happens. Again, sometimes go out there with an agenda, but sometimes it's good to go out with no agenda. Um, Auto shipment, so this is just a random tip. Um, just so you know, if you sign a low customer distributor anywhere past the 25th of the month, so if they sign on the 29th or the 30th or the 31st, the next month, all the auto shipments every single month have to be processed no later than the 25th, loyal customers and distributors. So if you sign somebody on the 30th on this month, September 30th, their auto shipment will, auto shipment will process um, October 25th. So just a random tip I just threw in there. Um, all auto shipments have to process no later than the 25th. 
So that's kind of all the tips I had. Um, as people start asking more tips, I'll do more videos. But I hope this helped just kind of give my insights and some tips for you all. So see ya.